So the next tool on the list is a tool called AMAS. Now AMAS is also used for subdomain hunting and it is a fantastic tool. Now you might be asking, why do I care about another tool for subdomain hunting? Well, every tool is a little bit different in how it pulls down its subdomains. And if you combine multiple subdomain tools, you're bound to find more subdomains. And remember, if we're only limiting ourselves to something like tesla.com and not looking at all the subdomains when we're doing a web app assessment, then we could potentially miss out if we're doing bug bounties, we could potentially miss out on a lot of different development sites or, you know, sites that are out there that we don't know about. And if we're doing a pen test, then we could miss out on subdomains that we should have pen tested against. And we're going to tell the client, hey, you know, you were good to go on this. But in reality, they weren't if we didn't look through everything. So let's go ahead and download AMAS as well. And AMAS is made by OWASP, which is the official uh, web app security. So you're going to see OWASP quite a bit. And if we click down into here, scroll down just a bit, you're going to see that it has an installation guide. Now in the installation guide, we're just going to scroll down a little bit here and you're going to follow these steps from source. So this is again, another go tool. All you got to do is export this go one, one, one module, and then go ahead and paste this in here just like this. So I'm going to minimize this and you're going to see that I've already done it. So go ahead and do it for you. It is a bit of it takes a bit of time is what I should say. Maybe a minute or two. Go ahead and let this install and then pause the video. Meet me back when you're ready. OK, so now what I'm going to do is we're going to build in a mass into our script and I'm going to run a mass as is so you can see what it's capable of doing, but AMAS takes some time. So the way we're going to run AMAS is we're going to say AMAS enum, and then we're going to pick the domain and the domain is tesla.com. All right. So that's all we're going to do. Now let's build this into our script while this is running. It's going to take quite a bit of time again. Um, and we'll let this run as we do it. And then I'm going to comment this out in the script so that way um, when we run it for future tests, it's going to be a lot faster. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and just say echo and we're going to echo out same thing. We're just going to say something like if I could type, we're going to say harvesting subdomains with a mass. Okay. And again, I didn't realize it, but I screwed up over here. All right because for some reason it's not uh, typing in the plus sign when I'm doing it. OK, so here uh, we're going to say a mass enum just like we did before domain dollar sign URL. And what we'll do is we'll put this into the recon folder as well. So we'll just call this uh, we'll call this URL recon and we'll just call this F dot text because we're going to make this final dot text at some point. So we're going to take this and sort everything here that we find. We're going to put this into URL recon final. OK, so we have two options of how we can do this. We could actually put this into we could put this all into final.txt and then sort it, which is fine. Actually, if we want to do that, uh, the other option, which I was going to show you is sorting it out a different way, but we can put it into final and um, but then we would have to sort remove. So actually, I'm going to leave it like this. And we're going to do this kind of like this. We're going to sort this into URL recon final.txt. And we'll take the final and move it into a new file here in a second. So we've got this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to just go ahead and remove URL recon f.txt. OK. So we don't have to create anything new as of right now. The folders are all the same, and this is going to pull this down. What I want you to go ahead and do is I want you to comment this out. We're not going to use this for the remainder of the course, but I do want you to see that AMAS is pulling down uh, quite a bit of information. And you can see it's just, I mean, it takes a lot of time, but it's going to find different things here than what we found originally with just Asset Finder. So we can combine these two here and come down with 
um, you know, and it just finished. So that's how long it would take. Come down with a list, combine those into a final.txt, and in the next video, we would combine those into one big file uh, with it all sorted out so we don't have any repeats. But I'm gonna show you in the next video how to probe for these being alive or not, which is going to save a lot of time for us. So I'll catch you over in the next video when we start talking about HTT probe.